Hello everyone, my name is Christian Zunchev and in today's video we're going to talk about branding and why is it so important for every company's long-term success. So let's start with the basics first. What is actually a brand? It seems simple, but when you set out to define it, it becomes a little bit more complex. A brand is an intangible concept in marketing or business that identifies a specific company or product. Yes, a person can also be a brand. Think of Kim Kardashian, for example. She became so popular recently. But people so often confuse brand with just a logo. While these may be part of a brand, they're just the extent of it. Elon Musk says a brand is just a collective perception. Let's look at a few different well-known brands and explore the ways that they may be collectively perceived. Let's look at McDonald's, Facebook, and Apple, for example. What do you think of when you see McDonald's arcs? Do they bring you mind happiness, family memories, or maybe you even hear this jingle song, pa -da -pa -pa -pa, I'm loving it. Now think about Apple, sleek design, technology, that lowercase i on the iPhone, and now switch gears to Facebook for a second. I bet your mind can conjure the specific blue and the font of the F, right? And if we're talking about our brand Young Caesar, it's all about business, growth, and improvement. To start building your brand, you need to start with a story. Think about it from a customer's perspective. If they were reading about you in an article or a book, what would it say? If you're not sure what your brand story is, no worries. There are really only four parts to it. First, how do you describe your brand? Second, what does your brand offer to the world? Third, the things other people believe or say about your brand. And fourth is how people interact with your brand. Now, building a brand doesn't happen overnight. It takes time and it takes consistency. You have to keep pushing your brand's message. The more you do that, the quicker the four parts mentioned above will align. Okay, so now you defined your brand and you have a solid brand story. But now what? Well, it's time to focus on messaging. You need to make sure that your messaging is always consistent and always on brand. If you fall into the trap of not having consistent messaging, you will confuse your potential customers. They won't know what you're all about. Just think about it. If McDonald's started putting out commercials, making their restaurants look like an upscale dining experience, you'd be pretty confused, right? You need to have something unique to offer to the world. And the uniqueness is what you need to market. Both Burger King and McDonald's make hamburgers but you're not in danger of confusing the two, are you? If you're not sure what that unique something is that you have to share with the world, we can help. There are three worksheets linked below and you would want to complete them entirely. The first two will help you discover your unique value and selling propositions. And the third worksheet is all about contribution. All of this information is going to help you put your brand on the right path. And once you have a good understanding of what you're bringing to the table, it's time to take a look at competition. There are a few ways that you can use to see what tactics they're using in their own branding messages. You can check out their landing pages, sign up forms, their emails, attend their webinars. And you can also use tools like What Runs Where and the Facebook's ad library to see what kind of ads they're actually running right now. All of this detective work will give you a good overview of what is working for them and what is not. This reconnaissance mission will set you up for success. But it doesn't mean you should simply copy what is working for your competition. That's not the way to stand out. You need to add your unique flair and rise above your competition. So this way you're almost ready to deploy your brand campaign. Remember I told you we have worksheets for you? Now doing the exercises in those worksheets we talk about are going to give you this deep insight into a branding message. You'll be able to align everything from your customer support dialogue to your social media hashtags. And remember that the most important part of your brand messaging was consistency, right? It all has to be consistent. SEO, title tags, website design, sales copy, support, emails, everything. You want every single aspect of your business, every single thing that your customers and clients will come in contact with to align from the dialogue in your YouTube videos to the branding on the box of your products that comes in. One of the keys to branding was perception, right? And why is it so important? Well, you got into business to make money. That's the point for most people anyway. But to charge premium prices, you have to offer a premium experience. And that comes with proper branding. Have you ever been to Disney World? Disney offers the Disney experience. 
from the initial phone call with customer service to the Lemonade State kiosk in the park to the right on the monorail. There is a reason that this company inspires lifelong Avid fans and they can charge premium for the service that they're offering. Think about it. Companies that charge premium prices can hit their profit goals with fewer sales. Sometimes even higher prices can actually increase your demand. If people know that they are getting a high quality product, they wouldn't mind paying for it. Apple's customers don't do too much complaining about the prices of iPhones. And even if they do, it doesn't stop them from hopping in the line each time a new one is released. Okay, so are you ready to start building your premium brand? Just start with the homework of filling out those worksheets. You'll find a link to them in the description below. Just go ahead and complete all the three of them so that you're ready for the lessons that are coming in the next video. So thank you so much again for watching. I hope that this video was useful and made sense. If you have any questions about marketing, building your brand, just drop a message below and I'll be happy to respond. Thank you so much for your time and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.